they took the flesh, the titties, and everything, and I was found dead right there by the bridge. Woo, baby. We're in New York City. About to get things done. Who is someone that you haven't told that you love them in a while? My mother and father. Can you call them up right now? No, I and wish And talk I to could. them? I wish. Why? What happened? Mm -hmm. Mistaken identity and people misconstrued and people with the images of another person is how I basically live this life, you know? So you, they're not who they say they were? Not the lady that pretend to be my mother, no. For your whole life? Mm -hmm. For your whole life? Not for the whole life. It was like an intermix, like in the middle of uh, point of finger and racial profiling and we was never none of the people, but they made us live the life of that. For the material things. So how'd you find out that she wasn't your actual mother? Um, the mortician was like, you know, telling me stories and stuff like that. And that's when I realized, again, it played a part from the 60s to the, to now, you know? Yeah. But then I, I feel that it's wrong because I couldn't do that to other people. Yeah. I couldn't deceive people because of the money, because of these properties. That's yeah. why they did that to me. But what was it when I was a kid? They lied on my mother. We never done no crimes. But the person that really do the crimes, they like allowing them to talk through your head like you this moron, which you're not. Who's yeah. the moron when you living in what's mine? My money brought this, not theirs. So when my mom and my dad come, I have, this is what I did with my money mom and dad. By that time, they brainwashed me and took control. You know you once was a professor in your book of dummies and they brainwash you in another country is controlling what you own? MF it. Dude. You understand? In yeah. effort, because if this is what you say you brought, you brought, why you talking to me? Yeah. If it's yours. Yeah. So I'm just a survivor now. I can't say this is not my Motown mother. This was a dog dressed up in the human's life. You understand? A real dog looked like a gremlin. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, I was the seed, you know, and I just pray every day that I see my mother and my father. Three, two, I work one. for Future, Queens. They parents paid me to teach. These black motherfuckers shitted on me. Actually, literally put shit in my mouth and left me for dead. You understand what I'm saying? You got iguanas, you got reptilians dressed up in the image of us. Dead. What do we do? Woke up one morning with these teeth in my mouth. There's no way I was born with it. So I go to NYU. What do you mean you weren't born with those teeth? These here? Yeah. No, they not mine. It's got wires at the bottom. You know what a root of your teeth look like. Yeah. Right, baby? So you think so someone placed them in wired. there? I got the picture, true pictures of how they converted me to look like I was a reptilian or give me a dog's teeth. And then um, the police was chasing me for years, bro. <laughs> hey, time out. They were, yo, but why would they replace your teeth? Why would they replace for your teeth? For the teeth? money. They took the flesh, the titties, and everything, and I was found dead right there by the bridge. Years ago, so I'm blessed to be alive. Oh, yeah. Hey, mom. Hey. Um, I love you. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm just telling you, I love you. Why? <laughs> because I'm just, I'm just letting you know. Why? What do you want? Because I, you know, I just haven't said it. I just haven't said it recently. What's the angle here? There's no angle. I'm just letting you know. Okay, I love you too. Okay, bye. <laughs>